Okay. So guys, um, our vertical dis uh, translation now is when it's outside the parentheses. So again, kind of just referring back to our sine of x. But then um, you're adding that value outside the parentheses. So this would shift it up. Now this one, the sign didn't, wasn't the opposite of what we were expecting. So making sure that you understand that this one's positive, it looks positive. So this one's not the opposite sign like this one was up here. So this one's the same sign. It is confusing. So it's really easy to get that mixed up. And so. And then this would be down. Now the good news with going up and down is our up and down axis is normal. Like that's just like one, two, three, four. So the weird axis is the left and right, and that's the one that's usually backwards from what we kind of expect as well. So I I'll show. Yeah. How many points off on a test do we get, and then we get those two mixed up? Well, just mixed up is well mixed up. You probably miss the one on the one problem, and then you know like or or kill. Or if you completely flip up, yeah. It's better to, yeah. I, I wouldn't keep. I because we have pi over 3 in a problem that like we're, we haven't used really something like that before. Um, and so again, going back to our um, like kind of standard equation here. Oops, let's just see a sign. So what's our amplitude? The amplitude is 1. There's no A value written there, so A is 1. How about the period? The B is 1, so our period is just going to be 2 pi. So a normal period, like same old that we're used to. So what does that pi over 3 do to our graph? Since it's inside the parentheses. It's going to move it to the right, pi over 3. Again, this is the, what inside the parentheses is the opposite of what we're expecting. So this is going to be right, pi over 3. Now, if that's how I'm moving it, whoops, right, T, um, right, pi over 3. So if this is what I'm doing with my movement on my graph, I'm going to suggest that maybe you're like kind of strategic about your placing on your graph. What kind of values would you want to put as your scale then? What's that? I thought I heard it. Yeah, why not use pi over 3 if that's how I'm moving it? Pi over 3 is not like probably like your default, like I wouldn't choose to use that most times, but pi over 3 is like a third pi, then there's two thirds pi, and then there's a whole pi. So I think that makes more sense because we want to move it that much. So it'd be helpful to us to be able to um, use that as our, our units. So if we have our choice, I'm going to use pi over 3. Then it's 2 pi over 3. And then it's going to be 3 pi over 3, which is just pi. And then it's going to go 4 pi over 3. And then I get up to 2 pi. Now, one of the things I typically do, and so this is up to you guys if you want to do it this way or not, is I draw it first, like the normal way, and then I shift it. So it's up to you guys if you want to try it this way. So I'm going to draw it like, like a dotted line first, 
And then I'm gonna shift it over and say that's my final graph. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So I have amplitude of one, a period of two. So I'm gonna graph that. I'm gonna graph it without the shift first. So I'm gonna use like a light color dotted line and I can do this up here just because I can cheat with my. So it's gotta start at zero, end at zero. And then it is at zero in the middle and it's gonna go up to one and down to negative one. Whoops, not there. So, like, and it's probably hard to see online, sorry. Um, there's a really light dotted line here. And so if you have pencil or colored pencil or whatever you want, highlighter, whatever you guys want to use. But now I'm going to shift it because I think just getting this basic graph down is hard enough. And so I understand that. So now I'm going to do the shift. Remember we said right pi over 3. So that means all of these points, anywhere it hits like an axis point, I'm going to shift it over just one square because that's what we chose as our, our units. Had we not chose that as pi over 3 as our unit, it would have been a lot tougher to do. So that, that was a good move to suggest that. So I'm going to take 0, shift it right pi over 3. Oops. I'm going to take this point and go right pi over 3. So just basically another space over. Right pi over 3. All of these. Oh, it's still dotted. I didn't mean for that to be the case. Oops, regular line. So the purple graph is the one that I frankly want. Is that, and I'm okay with you guys doing this if that helps you. If you don't need that, some of you are very, like, you don't need something very visual. You can just see what's happening. That's fine as well, but over time I've learned that that helps some people. Now, if that's the case, I don't need you to go back and erase your little dotted line. Just make sure it's clear to me which one your final graph would be. And then I'd probably say let's do one more like phase of this, just so that we have kind of like another round of this, just to see what's going on. So something like that. So if the dotted line is helpful or kind of the guideline is helpful, that's fine. Just like maybe like you're using like markers or something like that, you just write like my pink one is my final line or whatever, like just that I would know when I was grading that. Okay. And I don't know if we'll get through all these examples today, but we'll get a chunk of, we'll take a break in a little bit, but we'll do some more here. All right, so this one's a little bit tougher because there's an amplitude and period change. There's still a shift. And we might change how we go with our scale, so we can figure that out as well. Bless you. And again, I like drawing it basically with just the amplitude and period and then doing the shift in a different color. Amplitude in this case is four. Period. B is two, so the period is pi. Now with the amplitude being four, again, I like, if this is helpful, when the amplitude changes, I like thinking of this. It's multiplying everything by four. And again, I'll draw it this way first, then I'll do my shift. So I'm going to ignore the, the pi over 4 for kind of a slight second here. But I, do, I realize I have to use pi over 4 to think about my scale. So what are you going to put your scale as this time? So our shift is pi over 4. Yeah, why not just use pi over 4? It's a nice small number that will allow us to fit this in. Now, are we going to move left or right this time? This one's left because it looks positive, but it's actually the opposite of what we're expecting. 
So again, since it's pi over 4, left pi over 4, that's what I'm going to do my scale as. And then understanding fourths and then half, then three fourths. And you don't have to label every one if I get the idea. So this would be two pi over here. And again, I'll draw it the first time and then I'll in dotted lines and then I'll draw it again um, once I've shifted it. So this one's supposed to start up at 4 and go down to negative 4 and end back up at 4 again by the time I get back to pi. This is my original, like, before I shifted graph. And then since we did pi over 4, we're going to shift it to the left, pi over 4. So just one space over. That's my new one. Sometimes my line doesn't go very well. So this dark purple here is supposed to be my, my new line. Try the next one. The next one should be similar to what we just talked about. Um, we haven't shifted up or down at all yet, so um, the next one should be similar to what we've just been doing. Now notice this one's sine. Um, so take a minute to try this one and maybe check it with someone nearby you if you're totally afraid to write on your graph until you know for sure. Um, you know, you can always kind of delay or just do a really light sketch. So we can try that next one. Well, this one's a sine graph. We just did cosine a minute ago.
think this one was similar enough to the last one. Um, so amplitude is 3, so going up and down 3. Period is pi, because the B value is 2. And then we should be moving to the right, pi over 4. Again, the opposite of what we're expecting based off of that sign. Now, sine, remember, starts at 0. But we're multiplying it by 3. So again, I'm going to draw dotted line first. But I am going to go up by pi over 4s here because of my shift. So I'm being strategic again about that. So then this will be 2 pi over here. And if you don't need the dotted line, and maybe until it's kind of like training wheels, until you're comfortable, it's okay to use the training wheels. And if you never go away from them, it's fine. Well, until, you know, if you're actually riding with training wheels, we should probably talk. But um, the, in their graphs, dotted lines are fine if that's helpful to you. But I'm going to go up to 3, down to negative 3. So there's my sine curve, but now I need to shift that to the right pi over 4. So I switch over to solid here, right pi over 4, right pi over 4. All these little are getting moved over just one space. And so our solid line is the one we're looking for. that turn out okay for you guys? All right, so we are going to transition over to moving up and down. And I don't know if it's easy or harder or whatever it happens to be. Um, maybe it's not either, but um, we're going to do that next here. So I'm going to um, stop the video.